Hi guys, welcome again to my world of physics infinity. Again, I'm taking on a tricky, interesting, small, challenging problem on dielectric sphere with a cavity in it. The problem is like this. There is a dielectric sphere of radius R, capital R, and its center is O. It has a uniform charge density rho, volume charge density rho. But this dielectric sphere has got a cavity of radius small r. The center of the cavity is C. The center of the cavity is displaced from the center O of the sphere by A arrow. In other words, I can say the position vector of C from O is A arrow. This is given. Then within the cavity, there is a point P whose position vector from C is x dash arrow. Okay. The point P is posi having position vector with respect to O as x arrow. So here you are. OC arrow is A arrow. OP arrow is x arrow. And CP arrow is x dash arrow. We are asked what is the electric field at the point P inside the cavity. There are choices given to us. You can have a look at the choices. First choice, rho into R arrow minus A arrow upon 3 epsilon naught. Second, rho A arrow upon 3 epsilon naught. Third, rho A arrow upon twice epsilon naught. And fourth, 3 rho arrow upon 2 epsilon naught. Let's see. I use the concept of the dielectric, within the dielectric, the field is rho x arrow by 3 epsilon naught. So here we are. So the intensity at P is rho x arrow by 3 epsilon naught if I treat the whole sphere without cavity. But there is a cavity. And the cavity, for all cavity problems, we treat cavity as something, now in the, in the case of charge system, as a negative charge body. So cavity is as if a negative charge sphere of density minus rho. So due to the cavity, I am using the superposition principle. Of course, I am using the SPP. The intensity at P is due to the whole dielectric sphere and due to the cavity taken as a negative body because that is not existing. So rho x by 3 epsilon naught minus rho x dash by 3 epsilon naught. The position vectors are given. Okay, we put it. So this is rho upon 3 epsilon naught out, x arrow minus x dash. But x arrow, x arrow, x arrow is a arrow plus x dash. a arrow plus x dash minus x dash. This will cancel. This will cancel and I get the answer rho a arrow by 3 epsilon naught. Rho a arrow. So b is the correct choice. And don't you find that interesting? This means this answer does not depend upon the position of p. p could have been anywhere in the cavity and we would have got the same answer. So this is one small tricky problem on dielectric sphere having cavity. If you enjoyed, if you love the video and want me to make more useful videos for you, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated.